You is good, you it's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're gonna be going over the cards that were introduced in packs today in NBA 2K24. My team talking about some of the budget options that maybe you guys should be looking at picking up in the player market. As well as talking about, you know, should you lock in for Jason Tatum? What about uh, Clay Thompson, Damian Lillard, Chris Webb? We're going to be talking about all of those things. Now, again, if you're wondering why I'm not doing it on 2K Database, the website is kind of weird with these uh, specific sets. So that's why if you want, you know, how uh, if you want my video talking about the reward cards, those type of things that will specifically be on 2K Database. Now, let's start with the Jason Tatum set. Stephon Marbury is not very good, guys. 74 three ball, 79 speed, 73 lateral quickness. I mean, he does come with six bronze badges, but again, as a gold point guard, not a card I'm super, super high on. Sven Nader, I mean, look, he can't shoot. His speed's at a 42, lateral quickness is at a 37. And he's only 6'11". Not a card I'm really high on. Wesley Person, you guys might remember the Ami of last year. Does have a good three ball, decent speed, decent lateral quickness, as well as some decent shooting badges. So my whole thing with Wesley Person is, I'm not going to sit here and say he's great. But if you do need a card to start off your squad, he can at least knock down shots for you. Again, not going to hype him up too much, but he can at least do that. Dennis Scott here, 6'8". 83 three ball defensively not great but does have some good as shooting badges as well now you guys might be wondering ty what release does dennis scott has have well he has the vernon carey jr release i don't know what it is like i uh, haven't shot with him but again looks really solid rafe with friends one of my favorite budget beasts in the entire game defensively good enough shooting wise absolutely magnificent if you need a power forward and don't have like the ruby Giannis, rafe with friends absolutely elite chauncey phillips up next 6-3. Now here's the deal for Chauncey Billups. I feel like he always has a bad release. This year still has that Chauncey Billups base, which I'm predicting is absolutely horrible. Defensively isn't bad and actually does have a ton of badges. I do think the problem with Chauncey Billups is going to be that release. Robert Parrish up next is 7-1. And I mean, look, is the card great though? No. That, I mean, he's not. He has decent badges, but he's just not great. He's slow, not great movement-wise. I just can't sit here and hype that type of card. Uh, Michael Red up next. We know kind of what he's got. 6'6", six, six, good three ball, decent ball, and defensively, not horrible. When you go and look at his badges, he has some badges that can definitely help him out. Throw Michael Red right in there with the, you know, when I get to him and talk about him, right in there with the, uh, the, 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 the Mike Millers of the world, right? I mean, that's really what... What Michael Red is going to do. Anton Jameson, 6'9", does have a duo with Karan Butler. I don't know how good it really makes them, but again, does have that duo. 75 three ball, decent speed, not great ladder quit. His badge wise isn't bad. I just, I mean, at the power four position, don't see a way in which you run Anton Jameson. Now, supposedly, John Stockton has one of the best releases in the game, if not the best release. So, I'm eager to try it out eventually. 86 three ball, obviously, you guys can see that. 90 ball handle. Decent speed, lateral quickness. Badge wise is absolutely incredible. I mean, my whole thing for John Stockton is, I'll just go shoot around with him real quick. My whole thing with John Stockton is, if his release is that good, you can kind of put that height aside, right? And, and that's a big if, because again, I don't know for sure if, you know, it is going to be that good. But if, if he does like have one of the best releases in the game, again, put that put that whole uh, height beside him. Because again, if he's going to be knocked, I don't necessarily love that release. I mean, it's good, right? It's good, but it's not like a cheesy enough release that I think like you, you put the height aside. Like, yeah, I mean, to me, it's okay. But again, I maybe when it gets on quick, it's better. But it's not a release that I'm just going to be like, wow. Like, you know, it's fine. But again, it's not necessarily what I would say my favorite release in my team. And for certain cards, I'll go and check them out. Not most of them. But for Stockton, if, if his release is going to be one of the best in the game, I feel like people needed to see it. Richard Hamilton, 6'7", smooth release, 86, three ball, good defensively. He's one of my favorite cards in my team. The problem is rubies are really expensive. So... Would I rather you get Michael Red or Richard Hamilton for his price? Michael Red. Al Horford, 6'9 only. Release isn't what it was last year. Not bad defensively. I just think he's overhyped. That's my opinion on Al Horford. You guys don't have to agree with me. I think he's overhyped. If you lack in all those players, you get Jason Tatum, 6'8", 87, three ball, good ball, and a great defensively. Jason Tatum, one of the best cards in the entire game. Maybe the best small forward in the game right now. I mean, he is that good, is that elite. 
Is he worth locking in the set for? No. Does Jason Tatum... I mean, is he absolutely elite? Yes. I mean, there's no questions asked. Glenn Davis up and a here. Okay, 52 three ball, not good. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about these golds unless they're good. Gerald Green's not bad. 75 three ball, defensively not horrible. Does have a few badges. Is he the Gerald Green of old? No, he's just not. He's not horrible, but he's not the Gerald Green of old. Percy Hawkins not good either. Kenny Smith 6377 three ball, defensively fine. Badge wise not bad. The thing is, again, he's just another one of these point guards, right? There's nothing that really makes him stand out. Richard Hamilton, only a 69 three ball. Not great. Not going to sit there and hype up the card. Card Michael Cooper, I will hype up. Smooth release. Really solid defensively. I like Michael Cooper in my team. If you need a budget emerald, Michael Cooper's a really solid option. Roy Hibbert, 7-2. Okay. And uh, and decent badge wise. I don't mind Roy Hibbert at all. If you want a, a big, big. Roy Hibbert is really solid. Does have a duel with Luis Scola. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Devin Harris up next, 75 three ball, good boy, and a really solid speed. My thing with Devin Harris is, look, he's just another small guard. We we see a lot of them has that default uh, default small base. Just not great in my team. He's fine, just not great. Karan Butler, 82 three ball, 75 ball handle, speed ladder quickness is okay. Eight total badges, not worth doing anything with. Patrick Ewing, 55 three ball, 39 speed, 35 ladder quickness. Do not buy Patrick Ewing, not worth anything. Paul Pierce still doesn't have a good release. And until he gets a good release, I'm not going to sit there and hype him up. Does have really good badges though, I will say that. Jason Williams, 6'1", 84 three ball, great ball, no speed, okay, ladder quickness, not bad. Does have Hall of Fame handles for days, just not great though. He's fine, like if you get him, you can run him, not great. Those guys all lock in for Chris Webber. 6'10", 73 ball, decent speed, decent ladder quickness. And my higher on Chris Webber or Jason Tatum, it's Jason Tatum and it's not particularly close. So if you are going to lock in between Jason Tatum and Chris Webber, I definitely would go Jason Tatum. Kendrick Perkins is in the set for Clay Thompson, 6'10", that's all he is. Bonafide scrub in my team. Steve Kerr does have a good three ball, right? So if you need a guy in challenges to uh, to, to knock down some shot shots for cheap, Steve Kerr, a decent option. Kiki Vanderway, 6'8", good three ball. I mean, his defense is just not great. That's the problem with Kiki Vanderway. Yeah, Rex Chapman, I like Rex Chapman. Decent three ball, decent ball handle. So you might be like, okay, Ty, well, well, where does Rex, where is he bad? He's not great defensively. Does have the Romeo Langford base, which is solid enough. I don't mind Rex Chapman at all on my team. T. Ross released a little slow. I wish he was, you know, maybe a little, I had a little bit better release. Terrence Ross, not great in my team. Luis Scola does have a three ball, but that's about it for him on the court, right? Badge wise isn't bad, but like, why would you run Luis Scola over Ray Flores? You don't, it's that simple. Charles Oakley can't really shoot. Defense speed, pretty solid though. I mean, badge wise solid as well. Again, not a card I do recommend. Tony Kukoc, 6'11", decent three ball, good release, 6'2", speed, 6'2", ladder quickness. I like Kukoc in my team. He's basically an off-brand uh, lock-in that, uh, that that is Lowry Marketing, right? The Lowry Marketing, Marketing Ruby that people love. That's basically the off-brand Tony Kukoc. Very, very solid budget option in my team. Fat Lever, 6'3", 72, three ball, good boy. Handle. Solid defensively, right? He really is, but offensively, Kind of a liability. Ron Artes, 6'7", 74, three ball. Again, really solid defensively. I'm not going to sit there and, and sugarcoat things, but defensively leaves a little bit to be desired. Larry Johnson, I'm just not a fan of Larry. It's that simple. It's that easy. Not good defensively, not great offensively, just not great in general. General, And then Andrew Bogut, he's fine, but he's pretty bad. Bad, is low speed, can't shoot. Andrew Bogut really can't do much for you on the court. They all lock in for shooting guard Clay Thompson. Different type of release this year. Not bad. Good ball handle, good speed, good ladder quickness. Going to be one of the best catch and shoot guys in my team. Are any of these guys worth it in my opinion? No. Obviously the legendary path, Keith Van Orn, 6'10", decent three ball. He's pretty solid. The guy that really catches my ear, Gordon Dragic, 6'4", supposedly has one of the best releases in my team. And for a gold, could be a really solid starter guy. Bryant Reeves, big country, seven feet tall. Only reason I got him is because I pulled him. This card is not great in my team. I wish I could sell him. Al Harrington, a guy I really do like. Kind of a cheaper version of a guy like Tony Kukoc. He's going to shoot the ball well. Play decent enough defense at 6'9". Really solid. Shannon Sharp, I'm not a fan of him. Release is on slow. It's basically all you need to know. Look at me rhyming. Robert Pack, 6'2". Low three ball. I mean, he can run and dunk and play decent defense. But I wish his three ball was a little bit better. Mike Miller, Wesley Matthews, Glenn Rice. 
All sapphires that I absolutely love and adore. Mike Miller, probably the best pure shooter. Glenn Rice is a little bit of that in between, still on that shooting side of things, but can defend a little bit better than Mike Miller. Weston Matthews, more of a 3 and D guy, not going to be as good as shooting the ball or as tall as Mike Miller or Glenn Rice. All three of these guys I absolutely love, though. So take your pick. I probably like Glenn Rice the most, but again, all of these guys are absolutely elite. Lamar Odom. As well as Andre Godala, both immaculate as well. 6'10 for Lamar Odom. Just does a little bit of everything on the court. Has a total base badges of 29. Just absolutely solid all the way around. And then Iggy, 6'6, 83 ball, decent ball, and really, really, really solid defensively. So if I were to lock in any set, guys, I'm locking in the Damian Lillard set. Plus, he goes towards Shaq. So again, I don't recommend locking in this set. I won't lock in this set unless I like happen to pull Iggy or Lamar Odom. But again, if I were to lock in a set, that is the set I all I personally would lock in. That's gonna wrap it up for our video, guys. Drop a like on it, subscribe if you are new, and as always, man, I love you guys, and have a blessed day.